Other physicists thereafter discovered the same thing with the polarity of light. You can, by shooting coherent light, again, if, uh, the, the photons will match. Using Polaroid lenses, you can change the polarization of one of the twin photons. When you do, the other one changes to remain in synchronicity with the first one. There's other interesting things that have happened in, um, in quantum physics, and I'll tell you about one more little story when it gets to the thing of the observer. Beryllium, ab beryllium atoms, when you bombard them with radio waves, they get excited. No pun intended there, by the way. And, how do we, and when beryllium atoms are in an excited state and you view them by bathing them with laser light, they basically disappear on you. In the unexcited state, they glow a bright red. So, and the laser light does not otherwise affect the beryllium atoms. It merely enables you to view them. They did a burst of radio waves, waited one quarter of a second, turned on the laser, and virtually all of the beryllium atoms went to the excited state. Well, no mystery there. That's what they expected to happen. Till they thought of, let's look at them twice during that quarter second. So they looked at them twice, one at one-eighth of a second, one at a quarter of a second. Only half the beryllium atoms were able to convert to the excited state. Then they said, let's look at them four times in a quarter of a second, every sixteenth of a second. Less than a third of them were able to convert. Then they looked at them 64 times during one quarter of a second, and basically none of them were able. And what they discovered was, if you think of the Schrodinger wave function, which I haven't mentioned yet and I will briefly, the beryllium atoms were unable to convert from one reality to another. In other words, they had a collapse in the one reality state or another. Why? Why can't they just slowly convert from one to the other? Well, for the same reason that the old wives' tale uh, a watched pot never boils, because reality is not steadily is not steady and uh, continuous. I'll give you some examples. Electrons move between different levels. There is no such thing as an intermediary level. So, if let's say uh, more complex atoms, there's several shell levels. And you can, of course, by, once again, bombarding an atom with photons, put the electrons in a temporary excited state. They will jump to a higher energy state, ultimately shed a photon, and go back to a base state, and so forth. Here's what's interesting. They will appear in this state, then this state, and in this state, but never in between. They're all, always separated by whole numbers. They pop off and on. And the question is, when they pop off, where do they go? substance of the universe in us.